Hi guys, I'm Florencia and I'm a producer and developer from Uruguay and uh, today I'm gonna show you how to make this effect that look like you have Botox in your face it's a face deformation effect and then you can publish it to Instagram or Facebook so let's go to Spark Air Studio and create a new project the first thing we're going to need is a face tracker and we're going to attach a face mesh to it, okay? And this face mesh has a property that is called deformation and the cool thing is that you can add any 3D object and the face is just going to morph into that object. So I already have an object that I already morphed using Cinema 4D and I'm gonna put the camera so you can uh, really appreciate how it looks and as you see well it looks like I had some surgery done because all my face is inflated and I swear my lips are not like this <laughs> well uh, how did I do this well, the cool thing about Spark Air, well, it has many cool things, but one of those is that you can get a face reference assets to base on before doing any work. So you just click here and you get them. I already have them. So we are going to open Cinema 4D. And here I'm going to open our face reference asset. face mesh okay so now I have a sample face mesh and what I'm gonna do to this is I'm gonna use my sculpting tools in Cinema 4D you can do this also in Maya on um, Blender that is free and is open source I use Cinema 4D because I really like it but uh, you can use any sculpting software that you like um, I'm not gonna get deep into this, but I'm just gonna show you quickly how to mess with the shape in the face. For example, I have this inflate tool that I'm gonna apply symmetry because any modifications that I want to do in this face, I want them to be symmetric, but you don't have to worry about that if you want to achieve something that is asymmetric. And I'm just gonna add some more pressure because I want drama and um, I'm just gonna do this and as you see I'm just inflating the cheekbones as I like I'm also gonna do this on the lips and um, you can see how easy I'm morphing the lips into this lip filler thing I'm just gonna add a little more pressure, right? Because we want big lips. Yeah, big lips, Kylie Jenner lips. <laughs> okay, so the next tool that I'm gonna use is the flatten tool. And I'm gonna use this so it looks like the face has had a nose show. So it's really small and flat and as you can see the face already looks really different but as I told you I'm not really gonna get into many details about this uh, you can see how it's done you can morph it into anything you want I already have an object that I made so you can see the final results For me, are this okay? As you can see, eh, it looks like Moria Kazan, that is an iconic Argentinian vedette. That's the, that's why I put the name to the effect. And then we just have to export as FBX, and 
you apply it to the face mesh as we did before through the deformation property. Okay, so now I want to achieve that glossy plastic look that the FX has. So I'm gonna add another face mesh and I'm gonna create a new material. This material, is ha it has to be a physically based material. So I'm gonna add under the shader properties, a color that is neon green, because I love neon green. And then I'm just gonna go full metallic on it and I'm gonna add a little roughness. I think about 12 is good. And then I'm gonna go to render options, blend mode and select add. And that's how you achieve that glossy reflect on the face, right? And so, so everything is consistent. I'm gonna add the deformation object to this face mesh too. So you can see it has uh, the reflection on all the right places. So it was that easy guys. Uh, the last thing that I do is adding another face mesh. So with this face mesh, I will use a retouching material that Spark AR already provides. You just have to go here and choose gender type retouching. And here I'm gonna put it on 30%. And that's about it. You have a new Botox plastic effect for your face. Of course, it looks much better on the phone because I have bad lighting here and the camera quality of the MacBook is not good. And as you can see, this uh, picture, this video was taken with an iPhone XR. That's why the quality is so good. But just to finish up a little, what I did was edit properties and edit the face tracking capability so we can use it with two faces at the time, at the same time, uh, because hanging out with friends and using this kind of thing is more fun. So you just have to duplicate the original face tracker and assign the tracker face to the second face. I don't have anyone uh, to show you how it works right now, but once you you export it with your phone and and use it with a friend, uh, it's gonna work on, the, on both faces at the same time. Um, well, that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. If you have any questions or feedback, um, they're welcome on the comment section and I'll be happy to reply to you as soon as I can. If you want to know about upcoming tutorials or see my works with AR, VR uh, and web, just follow my Instagram, Sochi World, or you can find me on Facebook under Trihochi. And uh, well, that's it. I hope you have a nice day and create some. Cool effects. Bye bye.